Okay, I had a customer call me and said they were gluing inch and a half mahogany end railing or hand railing together and they're having a hard time with 2P10 sticking. So I'm gonna show you the technique you wanna use. On end grain, you wanna put on enough glue to be able to wet in both sides. So see how I put that glue on there? I'm using the thick. That happens to be what the customer was using as well. And you see I'm wetting that in, I'm moving the glue around, making sure that the glue has ample opportunity to actually seep in to the end grain because it's not very porous. Now, this is a trick. It's very difficult to do, but if you're fast, you can do it. You put a little spritz of glue, of activator, on the glue directly and then bond it together. This allows the glue to catalyze consistently all the way through, but you have to be fast. The other way to do it is to spray it on topically like this as well, and you can try that, and I'll do that method in a minute. So there you go, it's bound together. You would never think you could glue something like that. It's only been about 30 seconds. This video is very short. Ugh. Get an idea, very strong, 2P10. The next method is the same idea. You're gonna make sure the glue joint is wet in completely. Make sure you get glue on everything. And this one is a little drier than the last one and I don't like it. You see how it started to dry out there? Not good. So I wanna make sure the glue stays wet on the surface. That tells me that I fully penetrated and I didn't absorb too much glue. See how it continues to stay wet. This time, no activator. I'm just gonna push it together and hold it. Now I'm gonna to spray topically on here. Now this joint, you're gonna wait about five minutes for it to cure. Where this one, when I sprayed directly on it, it cured instantly. There's two ways to do 2P10 on end grain for hand rail. Now I sprayed a mean or the activator on here. We wanna make sure that we clean this off, sand it really well, also use a denatured alcohol to strip away any residue so that we don't have any staining when we go into the staining and finishing process. That's it for 2P10.